Today is the last day for registering to vote. Are you registered? Do you care? It can feel quite difficult to find the energy to bother about an election when it is the third general election in three years and when, for us in Scotland, we've also had two referendums in five years plus our Scottish parliamentary elections. But think what a privilege it is to feel worn out by too much democracy. Hong Kong was literally on fire in the run-up to its local elections last week, so at least we've avoided riots among our current political mess. Though that's really damning with faint praise. Voters there queued for up to an hour to cast their ballots. When polls closed on Sunday, more than 71% of the electorate had voted, or, more than 3 million people, nearly half of Hong Kong's population. Many were voting for the first time. The turnout was described as a powerful rebuke to the government. An hour-long queue? That's dedication. There has been much speculation that voter turnout will be lower at this election because it is being held in winter and the electorate will find it harder to get up the energy to go out and perform their civic duty. What a depressing indictment of voters. More likely, if turnout is low, that it is because voters feel a sense of apathy at just what their vote is worth. They feel a sense of exhaustion at the relentless gum bumping over Brexit. And they feel their vote doesn't count anyway, in a first-past-the-post system. Tribal, partisan politics, voting for the same party you've always voted for, or that your family votes for, is not going to cut it this time round. Voters feel let down by all three main sides. The Conservatives are headed by the UK's least popular Prime Minister of all time. Plenty of staunch Labour voters feel they can't trust Jeremy Corbyn to adequately deal with the growing scandal around anti-Semitism in his party. The Lib Dems have Joe Swinson, a party leader with a Westminster voting record the electorate will not forgive, heading a party that backed the Tories on policies voters will not forget. When there's no party persuading you it is trustworthy, no politician responding without sloganeering to nuanced concerns, then what do you do? You likely give up your democratic right and pretend the whole thing isn't happening. Especially when, as just one of tens of thousands of people in your constituency, you can feel powerless. Looking at a breakdown of the areas with the largest proportion of non-voters in the 2017 general election, of the top 10, four were in Glasgow. Glasgow Northeast was first with 47%, then Glasgow East at 45%, and Glasgow Southeast and Glasgow Central both had 43%. For those who don't turn out because they think their vote just doesn't matter, T for more on this story, visit the news article link.